Hi everyone, today we're going to be looking at the CH340, CH341 USB, the serial PC installation. Now detailed information contained in the video can be found at accautomation.ca. The link has been put in the description below. So we will be installing a USB to RS-485 on our computer. And the CH340, 341 USB to serial port is a two wire USB to RS-485 serial communication adapter. For RS-485 use. It does not require external power supplies or complicated configurations. This USB to uh, RS-485 can be purchased through Amazon with the affiliate links below. Now it looking at the actual device itself it has a type A plug USB connector for the computer side and screw terminals for the RS-485 uh, connections. Now the CH340 or 341 USB to serial device supports multiple baud rates and has a thumb wheel design as you can see right here and looking at the next part we have the two wires here that create the uh, wiring is very simple we have a plus and we have a negative side of the uh, termination so the next thing we'll do is actually install the driver on the PC and it's important not to connect the USB to RS-485 adapter to your PC before installing the driver. So we go to the website and we will actually download this file here using the download link. And when that's downloaded, you will extract that file. And when you extract it, it will actually extract here and you will have a setup. Now double clicking on the setup will actually call up the driver itself, which is located right here. And it automatically will detect that we can have a, um, a 60, we have a Windows 64 bit machine. And as you can see, this um, driver actually supports uh, 32 and 64 bit Windows, XP up to uh, Windows 10, and also a server from 98 to 2016 and it is Microsoft certified and supports the USB 2.0 so once we hit the install it will actually install the driver and it will come back and say it has been successfully installed and just to see that again there we go and the driver is installed now what we can do is we can actually now plug in our USB device into our computer plug it into the USB port and when you do what we'll do is call up our device manager and under the device manager if we look under ports you will see that we now have a USB serial CH340 and it's on COM port number 8 looking at the properties you can see here under our port settings there's our bits per per second. This is all defaults and you can see that we can change that to whatever we'd like in our application. Is it okay? Now what we'll do is let's uh, uninstall that driver and try plugging it in um, to see what happens if you unplug it without having the driver installed. So first thing we'll do is actually unplug our USB driver. Then what we'll do is, again, call to the software. And what we're going to do is uninstall the software. And just make sure there's no devices installed. We'll hit OK. So now, calling up our device, we will actually plug this back into the USB. And this time here, what you'll notice is under other devices, we have this um, warning here that this USB serial, uh, USB 2.0 serial, there's an error with this device. So again, if you have this, then what you must do is unplug this again. And when we unplug that USB device, we will then go back to the software and we will install the software. Let's just uninstall it. And now install it. There we go. And now once it, just to make sure, 
Once that's installed, we'll go back and we'll plug this device back in. And again, under our COM ports, we now have again back at our COM number eight. So looking at an actual application, um, let's look at Node Red, and we have that currently running on our um, PC right now. And what we'll do is what we're doing is collecting every second. We go in here and collect it through our Modbus to our solo process temperature controller. Now let's just look at our actual hardware. So here is our solo process temperature controller. It's the model uh, 4896. And there's my present value and my set value. And here is my um, adapter, my USB adapter. And we are connected through our USB port on our computer. And on the other side of the adapter through the screw terminals, we are connected back into the solo through the Modbus communication port right here, RS-485. So that is our configuration. And in here you can see that um, what we're doing is every second we are um, asking for information through our command function. So this is multiple read. This is unit ID one, which is a solo. This is the address, which is 4096. And we're asking for two of them, giving back, giving me the present value and the set value of our process temperature controller. And then what we do is we just go ahead and get that uh, using the Modblast Flex Getter and our server. If we look at it, it's actually set up for COM number eight, which is our serial device. And then our serial is baud rate 9600, eight, eight data bits, one stop bit, even parity. And then our connection timeouts. So that is the entire program. And if we actually are running this and we look at the buffer, we can actually see that going. And you can see that we are communicating right here. If I were to hold on to the temperature probe, right now it's at um, 24.5. And you can see as it climbs, because it's reading the heat off my hand. So if you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button below. If you have any questions about the video, please leave a comment below and I'll do my best to answer it. If you want more information about us or you want our free ebooks on numbering systems or robust data logging, please click on the link in the description below to get it. A new video is put out every Monday, so make sure you hit the subscribe button so you get more videos like this in the future. Remember to click the bell beside your subscription to actually receive those notifications. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Stay safe.